Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Science Intellectual. In this video, we are covering two more sections under Chapter 5, Indian Patents Act 1970. Chapter 5 deals with opposition proceedings to grant of patents. The two sections that we are covering in this video are Section 26. In cases of obtaining, controller may treat the patent as the patent of opponent. And Section 28. Mention of inventor as such in patent. Section 26. In cases of obtaining, controller may treat the patent as the patent of opponent. Subsection 1. In any opposition, the controller finds that the invention claim was wrongfully obtained as under Section 25 2A and revokes the patent on that ground on request of opponent made in prescribed manner, the controller may direct that the patent shall stand amended in the name of the opponent. That is, if the controller finds that the patent application has been wrongfully obtained from the person that is the opponent. Now, if opponent requests so to the learned controller, then controller may direct the patent should be named after the opponent b a part of an invention obtained from the opponent then learned controller may pass an order requiring that the specification be amended by the exclusion of that part of the invention that is if part of the invention not whole any part of the invention is wrongfully obtained from the opponent then the controller may ask the patent applicant to exclude that part from his patent application. The relevant rule is Rule 63A. The form in which the opponent will request is Form 12 within three months from the date of order of the controller and shall be accompanied by a statement setting out the facts upon which the petitioner relies and relief he claims. Subsection 2, Section 26. Where an opponent has filed an application for a patent for an invention which includes the whole or part of the invention obtained from him and such application is pending before the date of the order of the controller requiring the amendment of complete specification referred as previous subsection, the controller may treat such application and specification with the priority date on the date on which the corresponding document was or was deemed to have been filed by the patentee in the earlier application. That is, say a patent application has been wrongfully obtained from the opponent. Now, opponent has also filed another patent application of the same invention, but that application that is opponent's application is in pending state. If the learned controller finds that the first patent application has been wrongfully obtained from the opponent, in that case the pending application of the opponent will have the priority date of the earliest filed application. But for all other purposes the application of the opponent shall be proceeded with an application for a patent under this Act. Now let's discuss Section 28. Mention of inventor as such in patent. Subsection 1 says, if the controller is satisfied upon request or claim made in accordance with the provision of this section, in case inventor is applicant, the inventor of invention or substantial part of the invention is the person in respect of or by whom the request or claim is made and the application for the patent is direct consequence of his being the inventor, the controller shall mention him as inventor in the patent and also in the register. That is, if the inventor is applicant, in that case, if he claims that he is one of the inventors, then his name will be entered in the patent granted and also in the register of the patents.
provided that the mention of any person as inventor under this section shall not confer or derogate from any rights under the patent. The relevant rules are Rule 57 to 63 as well as 66 to 70 and the form is Form 8. Subsection 2 under Section 28. When inventor is not the applicant or one of the applicants. In that case, a request that any person shall be mentioned may be made in the prescribed manner, that is Form 8, by the applicant for the patent or by the applicant and that person. In previous subsection, that is subsection 1, we have seen the case where inventor is the applicant. In that case, he will claim or request through Form 8 to mention his name in the patent application. Now, in case, as the case in subsection 2, where inventor is not the applicant, they are different persons. In that case, the claim or the request through Form 8 is to be done by the applicant or the applicant and that person jointly. Subsection 3. Any person other than the person mentioned under subsection 2, that is neither inventor nor applicant, then he may claim the application in prescribed manner, that is form 8 in that behalf. Subsection 4. The request or claim under the foregoing provisions of this section shall be made before the grant of the patent. Subsection 6 under Section 28. Claim is made under Subsection 3. Then the controller shall give notice of the claim to every applicant and to any other interested person. And before deciding upon any request or claim as made under Subsection 2 or 3, the controller shall hear the person in respect of or by whom the request has been made. And in case of Subsection 3, any person to whom notice of claim has been given, that is, say Form 8 has been filed, then the controller will give such notice to every applicant as well as to interested persons. Then he will call for hearing in respect of the person by whom the request has been made or in respect of the person the request has been made. Or, in case of subsection 3, any person to whom notice of claim has been given. And then he will decide accordingly. Subsection 7. Any other person who alleges that he ought not to have been so mentioned may at any time apply to the controller for a certificate to that effect. The controller, after hearing any person whom he may consider to be interested, issue a certificate and if he does so, he will rectify the specification and the register accordingly. That is in case of deletion of any name. A name should not be mentioned in any application and through Form 8, the claim or request has been filed to the controller. Then controller will call for a hearing and will decide and issue and certificate by deleting such name and rectify the specification as well as the patent register accordingly. Now let's discuss the relevant rules. As under section 28.3, the claim has been made through form 8. It shall be accompanied by a statement setting out the circumstances under which the claim is made, that is the cause of the claim. A copy of the claim and statement shall be sent by the controller to every applicant and to other interested person. Rule 68 says, as the claim has been made in Form 8 under Section 28.7, that is for deletion of name, it shall be accompanied by a statement setting out the circumstances under which the application is made. And in that case also, copy of the application and the statement shall be sent by the controller to each patentee or the applicant and other interested person. Rule 69 says about procedure for the hearing. And Rule 70 says how the mention of inventor will be done. 
any mention of the inventor as under subsection 1 of section 28 shall be made in the relevant document in the following manner. The inventor of this invention or substantial part of this invention within the meaning of section 28 of Patents Act 1970 is such of such. Here are the relevant forms regarding section 28 and 26 as well. Form 8 and Form 12. And here are the fee. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Please give a like and please share and subscribe the channel Scientelectual. We are providing the necessary informations regarding sections, rules, forms and fees under Indian Patents Act 1970. This will be very helpful during the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thank you everyone.